Hey, look at that. Everything's working. It's time. It's time. It's time for seven minutes in the morning and free coaching Friday. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to a free coaching Friday installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. And today it's your chance to try and stump the coach. We'll see if uh, anybody can do that today. Go ahead and get your questions ready. Put them in the comments so that I can work through those and find a great topic for us to talk about. I already have one from Keith. We'll talk about that for sure in just a little bit. But hey, listen, if you are uh, listening to the show on your favorite podcast catch or watching on YouTube or listening on SoundCloud or tune in, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That gets you to the right place. You can join the conversation, leave your question and comment as well. Even say hi like Joe and Catherine have done already this morning. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Catherine wants to win the prize. I said that there would be something different. Anybody see what's different? There, I'll just put that out there. And, you know, if you see it, great. If you don't, should look closer. It means you hadn't really been paying attention all this time. All right. So, um, at any rate, if you're listening somewhere else, oh, and uh, or on the replay, live or on the replay. See, Catherine, you got me all derailed this morning. Live or on the replay, I'll come back and answer the questions <laughs> uh, in the comments. Yes, Catherine got it. The whiteboard of world domination has actually relocated out into the hall. My wife's gone this week. We'll see how she reacts to that when she gets back. Uh, and it's been replaced by this giant piece of Lexan, which, by the way, I just noticed is reflecting me. So you can, <laughs> except for my head being in the way, you can see everything that's back here so uh joe got it too the new board you know i uh, this is going to sound silly right but i, I love whiteboards got all, this whole wall over here on this side of my office is one giant whiteboard i had that whiteboard back there it was just too small i needed something else and so I got a new program I was planning. I was trying to stick stickies to the wall. It didn't stick. So I'm like, I'll go get another whiteboard. Yeah. And then I found this piece of Lexan. It's cheaper than the whiteboard. And then look, it works. You can write on it with the whiteboard marker and sticky stick to it. Double win. All right. So let's get into it. Yeah. Let's get into uh, some of your questions this morning. Oh, man. Uh, Keith, buddy. That's a great question. How important, let me go ahead and put this up here so everybody can see it. Here's Keith's question. How important do you think moderate regular exercise is for a business owner? And am I still walking? Yes, I am still walking. I've already been out and walked this morning, actually. So in the grand scheme of things, there are seven things, five and two is seven, right? Seven things that we need to focus on and keep balance in our life in order to have a happy, healthy, balanced life. Number one is how we use our time. Number two is our health. Does this absolutely no good whatsoever to build the greatest uh, world domination empire and not be healthy enough to enjoy it? I mean, I... I see kind of here. I see countless examples of people that literally cannot walk from their car into the grocery store. They have to get, you know, one of the little buggy carts to get into the store. That doesn't even, to me, that doesn't even seem like eating would be enjoyable if it was going to leave me in a state like that. Now, look, I'm no poster child for health, but I am giving it a shot, right? And over the last two months, I think it's about two months, lost about 10 pounds. They, I find them every once in a while. <laughs> but lost about 10 pounds, exercising more regularly. I have been for a while. But the point is this. It's just like with anything else, right? If you don't apply intention, you're never going to get the result. And I think it's super important. What we do as business owners is stressful. And the number one way to combat stress is good health. 
Because if your body is in a state of bad health and then you add stress to it, that is not what they call a winning combination. All right. Hey, Kristen, I need to talk to you today if you have the bandwidth. Um, any, well, not any time after we're done, but uh, send me a text or something. Let me know when we can talk. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got up here. Oh, there's a good one, too, from Sarah. Is it ever, <laughs> is it ever a good idea to form a partnership? <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes it's a good idea. Boy, you are, you're asking the jaded person a question about this. If so, what are the best ways to ensure all of your ducks are in the row? Um, yes, partnerships are necessary. Now, how you structure the partnership can have a great impact on its success. And in, in almost all respects, a business partnership is like a marriage. In fact, most lawyers call dissolving a partnership a business divorce because it's just as messy and just as emotional. And just like with a, a marriage or, or interpersonal relationships, the more uh, uh, aligned the objectives of the individuals, the better the potential outcomes. And the more formalized the partnership, the more likely uh, you're going to achieve the result that you're looking for. Right? So, if you, I mean, let's, I'm going to use the marriage analogy here. If you're just dating, figure out whether you like each other or not. And, you know, you, that's the opportunity to see whether your objectives are aligned or not. But if you main, if you just maintain that loose coupling like that, get into business and, and, and start going, you, you might find out that the objectives change, right? That one person, while you thought your partner's objectives were aligned, maybe they change over time. And then you have to be able to react to that. The more formalized the structure, the better equipped you are to have those conversations and to make those adjustments. So is it ever a good idea to form a partnership? Yes. Um, just, just be sure that you and your partner are on the same page. That's, that's the best, uh, that's the best advice I would give you. Not glass. I would love it if it was glass. I actually found a big sheet of glass this size. It was frosted on the backside. But it was three or four times the cost of Lexan, uh, which is what that is. Four by eight sheet, whiteboard sheets for about $15. That's what I paid for this, and I wanted something clear. I want it to be different. Uh, have to have balance, keep walking. In. Okay. All right, Kristen. So, yeah, anytime after three or whenever it's good for you, just give me a call. That'll work for me. Um, and I'll give you something to think about on your drive back. All right, so here's the last thing I want to talk about this morning, kind of wrap things up for us today. Thank you for those questions. I appreciate those. This week we've been talking about gravity and how to add gravity to your products. Uh, yeah, so there's another good question that Keith has put in. Yes, in fact, I even have a name for it, Keith. Uh, so, okay, look, I'll just ask you guys. Um, so Keith's question, I'll go ahead and pop this up here just so everybody can see it. Have you ever thought of a weekly or monthly half hour Q and a podcast based on emailed in questions? Yes, I have thought about doing that probably weekly and either, and, and it has to be Wednesday or on the weekend so that it can either be the weekend whiteboard or the Wednesday whiteboard show. I don't know if we'll call it show or not, but Q and A session. I even have a logo for it. If it was, if it's a weekend whiteboard, I can do that. I'm open to doing it anytime. Um, but that's kind of what I had in mind. The, a longer format might even make that something for my, um, regular attenders and members. If you guys have any thoughts on that, love to hear those. You can drop those in the comments or send me a message if you'd rather not put in the comments. All right. Here we go, to wrap things up, talking about gravity. We've been talking all week about gravity and how to create 
uh, product gravity uh, or how to create gravity for your products, right? And you do that by increasing its mass. If people are not, you, you, you either want people to um, instantly connect and be attracted to your product or you want them to go away. I'm not saying that in a mean way, but I don't want to spend my time and I don't want to waste their time on something that's not going to work for them. I want to find the people. In fact, here it is on this little sticky right here, stuck to the bezel of my monitor, right? The goal is to do business with people who believe what you believe. I want to connect with those people and solve their problems for them, right? So to create that gravity, how do I create that gravity? By increasing the value mass of the product by making it more value heavy right so that it more easily attracts those uh, people right so the the question about gravity really is an opportunity for you to look at your products or services product and service i'm using interchangeably here and here's the last piece right don't and, and keeping with the space metaphor don't allow space junk to make it hard for your customers to get to your value, right? We can create a product card that's this wide, real wide, right? And we do that, we get, when we start, we're super focused on what we want to do. We get really good at that. And then people ask us to expand a little bit. We expand our offerings before you know it, you got a hundred things on your rate card. Or like the place here in town, 88 items on a buffet. Who is great at 88 things? Yeah, I mean, who's even mediocre at 88 things? You, you have to be really, really good at a couple of things. So I want you to look at your product or services uh, list. And any of those items that don't have sufficient gravity, that customers aren't saying, yes, I want that, right? You either have to add more value to it, or what I'm suggesting to you today, find the one or two things that you're really, really good at, add enough value to them, and prune off the rest. Right? Just like a rose bush, you gotta cut off the dead branches so that the living branches have get more of the, the vital nutrients. Right? So prune away those things that are distracting you, taking your mind share away, and confusing, frankly, your customers and prospects. Focus on the one or two things that you do really well and become the master of those things. So today's homework, what I want you to take away uh, today is look at your entire product card, find the things that you can prune, and I know it's painful, but so is going out of business. Find the one or two things that you can prune away that will allow the vital nutrition of your business to get to those things that are critical for your success, that you're great at, that your customer needs, and pour all of your effort into those. I personally hope that this has been super helpful for you this week, talking about gravity. Um, if it has, then I would ask you to share this with your network. And speaking of sharing with the network, if you're not, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, I want you to go over to LinkedIn today, right now, if you have a chance, and connect with me on LinkedIn. There's a fantastic a uh, young man on LinkedIn who called me this week. We did a quick interview. He wrote up a post. I want you to be able to read it. I'll put a link to it uh, here in the comments so that you can go see it. Uh, but if we're not connected on LinkedIn, we need to be anyway. So please go do that as well. But if you found any value this week, please share this video or this page with your network. I would appreciate it. It is time for the weekend. That's just two days that we work without having to talk to customers most of the time. But it is the weekend. You guys have a great one. Have a relaxing one. And come back refreshed, recharged, and rejuvenated for a brand new week of 7 Minutes in the Morning on Monday. I'll be here and talk to you then. Have an awesome weekend.